I'm really like just thinking of the person that's watching this and thinking of myself seven years ago and saying, what would Bashar seven years ago want to hear from me right now? Let mm -hmm. me put it all out on the table. Nice. What are some things, what are some, has planning changed your life or how has planning changed your life, I guess? Oh, dude, planning changes everything, man. You have to have a plan. So again, when I transitioned online and I was scared and in fear and I was like, okay, I'm going to start this business. I've never done this before. I'm in a corner. I need to make money for the family. Plan B, fuck that. I had to build a plan, right? I had to build a plan. So my plan was, yeah, like you say, you have, where do I see myself in a year? Right. Again, we, we talked about this on the podcast last time. It's like values. What's the person I want to be? And where do I see myself? Where do I want to be in similar pillars, right? Health, wealth, spirituality, family is a big one. And so putting that on paper, looking at it and being like, I want to be this person who has these things accomplished. And that's where I'm at. And then you're going to chunk it backwards. And I like to chunk it into, well, before we go into chunking, a side note, we always talk about your why. You have to know why you want these things first. Right? Without yes. the why, there's no drive at all. So it's like, but why do I want them? Okay, you have the why. Now let's break down the actual goal process. You want to chunk it backwards. So you chunk it into quarters and they have to be measurable, right? Like you said, you measure your goals. So it's like how much of that goal is going to get accomplished each quarter or a, a portion of it each quarter, a percentage of it? And what are the activities I need to do each week, each day to actually move the needle? And you literally write that shit down, right? We have our own BJKU workbook that we, we built, right? To help our students and help our team build this process out. And when you can see it on paper and you're like, that's where I want to be. This is the quarterly action things I need to get done. These are the weekly. Okay, I wake up in the morning and I look at it and I go, okay, well, this week I needed to you know, my, let's just use an example, right? I'm sure a lot of you out there uh, want to be in better shape. Probably 99% of humans wish they were in better shape, right? I was like, okay, I want to be, you know, 180 pounds, 10% body fat by the end of the year. Or I want to be bench pressing two plates a side or whatever the thing is, right? I want to run a marathon. You chunk it down into how you're going to get there. And all the way back to the day, it's what's this week? Well, this week, to get all the way there, I need to run. Let's use the marathon example. I was training for a marathon last year, remember? And this is how I did it. It's like, I need to run eight kilometers on Monday, 12 on Tuesday, 15 on Thursday, and like 15 on Saturday. And in between, there's like stretching and stuff. And like you add up the numbers and you build your way towards your goal. And so each day, you know, you wake up and you're like, okay, I need to run eight kilometers today. And I need to eat this much pasta and this much steak and I need to stretch. It tells you what you need to do. You don't have to think about it and figure it out because you've already broken the goal down so granularly that you know exactly what you need to do. Similar to you with your trainer, right? You have your own trainer and your nutritionist and your chef. You tell them what your goal is. They break it down for you. You wake up in the morning. I don't think you go down to the gym wondering what you're going to do, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> no, you sure fucking don't. You show up and it's like, oh, here's the plan today. This is what you're doing, Bashar. Sweat your ass off and go do the thing, right? 10 reps of this weight because it's been chunked down. So planning it out is the key. And then you just execute on it. I think a lot of people get stuck because they don't plan and then they get overwhelmed in the moment. Oh my God, I, I need to run a marathon. Oh my God, what am I going to do today? What, I got to run 50 miles or something? I can't do that. Then they stop. But if you broke it down, you have a plan. You just execute little one step at a time, one step at a time, and you get it done. No? Yes. Yeah. Chunking down, right? That's like the, if you want to Google at home, right? Chunking up and chunking down. You want to chunk things down into actionable steps. This is how, you know, people learn how to sell on Amazon, right? We chunk down the process of doing the things they need to do to sell products. <laughs>